We wanted to create a day to celebrate the achievements of women in chemistry, but also to discuss the significant issues that still face women in science. Well, I'm really pleased to see so many people here today. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Melinda Dewar, and I'm a professor of biological and biomedical chemistry. So where are we in chemistry today? Well, still only six permanent female academics, but this department absolutely would not be functioning without women. Thing, right? It's still inspiring the next generation. Thank you very much. We were amazed by the positive response we received from our women alumni for the morning event. We had several distinguished women alumni here today talking about their careers in all different areas of chemistry, from research to working in patent law, scientific publishing and as a meteorologist. Asking her the question of, of oh, um, aren't you lonely being the, one of the only females in the, in the department? And she said, yes, that's why we need more of you. <laughs> but also talking about hidden barriers, childcare, and all sorts of issues that women in particular deal with every day. Everyone in this room has a story. And I very much hope that we can hear those stories and discuss them and share them in the coffee breaks. And I'm really looking forward to meeting all of you and hearing those stories. It was also a great opportunity for alumni to come back to the department, meet their colleagues and former supervisors, share their own experiences, and even do some networking while they were here. We also invited a graduate student to tell us about her experiences. We have children coming from all over the country. Some of them come in professionally pressed blazers. Others come with very clearly third generation holy sweaters. But when you put those lab coats, those adorably tiny lab coats on them, you can't tell the difference. And that is a perfect example of how passion and interest can make everyone the same. We organised the afternoon event to be like a question time panel discussion. Postgrads and postdocs in the department submitted questions in advance, and we had a brilliant range of thoughtful and provocative questions. I'd like to ask the panel, what do they feel the university and its institutions could or should do to improve the provision of sufficient childcare? So I was just going to ask, do you think that there is a role or a future for job sharing in um, an academic research environment? So as an academic, if you were going to be part-time and share in that way, you would also have to be willing to be more open with your ideas and... and um, who would be getting the credit for those, uh, how you were managing the team underneath the two academics. I think, I think it would be a nice thing to do. We used this image of Effie Cook, who studied chemistry here 120 years ago, but never had the opportunity to pursue it as a career, because we thought it represented how far women have come since then, but also how much work there still is to be done. I think it's been great. It's, it's been a really good day. Um, first alumni event I've attended. Uh, I've not been back into Lensfield Roadside for 17 years, so it's nice to be back here. Um, yeah, really good discussions this morning, quite thought-provoking, and really enjoyed the panel discussion this afternoon. So some really good questions, um, very reflective, and now I've got lots of thinking to do, so <laughs> thank you. Yes, it was very nice. Uh, so I'm Belgian and I came here especially for the day all, all, all the way along from Belgium and I enjoyed it very much. Uh, it gives me a feeling of uh, being part of a community, which you don't get every day for sure. And uh, all these connections, even if they are very weak, are always nice. There are strengths to continue on our careers. So thank you very much. But above all, it's that what we do we do for the love of science, and it doesn't matter how long it takes. <laughs>